let us solve a question on finding maxima the question is like this find the point of maxima on the curve y is equal to x cube minus 6x square plus 9x minus 2 we have to find out the point where this curve reaches it is maximum okay so what are the conditions for finding the maximum so first condition is what we do we just take the first derivative of this function that means dy upon dx we take the derivative with respect to x and set it equal to zero okay and second condition is simply take the second derivative d square y upon d x square okay and check whether it is less than zero or greater than zero okay if this comes out to be less than zero we have a we have a point of maximum okay if the second derivative d square y upon d x square when evaluated at critical point is is greater than zero we say we have a minima okay simple thing okay so let's come to the question uh, spread now dy by a dx means taking derivative of this function with respect to x that is uh, dy upon dx so taking uh, derivative with respect to x and set it equal to 0 3x square so we have 3x square this 3 becomes coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 by power function rule minus similarly 2 6 are 12 12x uh, plus derivative of x is 1 so we are left with 9 only and derivative of constant is 0 and we set it equal to 0 okay now let us solve this very uh, quadratic equation uh, uh, to say so so we have 3x square minus 12x plus 9 let us take 3 common okay we can write it like this uh, x square minus uh, 4x uh, plus 3 is equal to 0 if i transpose this it will become 0 so this 3 gets uh, cancelled or it vanishes here so we have x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 so just splitting uh, terms you know so we will get x square uh, we have minus 3x we have again minus x um, plus uh, minus 3 into minus 1 is equal to 0 okay taking common factors here i have just separated the middle term here okay so sum of the numbers should be uh, minus 4 and the product of that same number should be 3 so we have minus 3 and minus 1 comes out to be minus 4 and minus 3 into minus 1 comes out to be plus 3 okay so taking factors common we have x here so we get x minus 3 taking minus 1 here common so we are left with x minus 3 again okay uh, if i take minus 1 here common so we will get x minus 3 and we set it equal to zero here okay so this means uh, either x minus three or x minus one is equal to zero that means we got two values x minus three is equal to zero or x minus one is equal to zero that gives us x uh, is equal to transposing it gives us three as the value of x or x if i transpose this minus one so this will become one okay so we got two critical points now we have to see which of these two pointers is maxima or minima so this was the first condition we said the first derivative of our curve with respect to x equal to 0 and we got two pointers that is x um, is equal to 3 and x is equal to 1 now we have to see which of these two points is maximum in fact okay so for that we need to check the second order condition okay so second order condition is simply we take uh, the second derivative d square y upon d x square and evaluate at critical points first we evaluate it, it at 3 and then evaluate it at 1 and see what will be the sign of the second derivative okay so let us write it like this if i evaluate it at x is equal to 3 okay so first let's take the second derivative this is first derivative so second derivative is the derivative of this function again with respect to x so we have two threes are six six is x derivative of x is one so we are left with minus 12 okay if we evaluate it at x is equal to three so we will get six into three minus 12 so this comes out to be 18 minus 12 okay 
so this comes out to be ardan a bath shares but this is greater than 0 okay so this point x is equal to 3 will be for minima okay why because if the second derivative comes out to be greater than 0 then we have case of um, what we uh, what we call minima okay so let's uh, check it at when x is equal to 1 okay so we have d square y upon d x square and let us evaluate it at x is equal to 1 so what will we get so this is our second derivative just plug this critical value here so we have 6 into 1 minus 12 which comes out to be 6 minus 12 so we get uh, minus 6 which in fact is less than 0 okay so for uh, the maxima two conditions were required first that we said the first derivative equal to 0 and second derivative should be less than 0 and here we can see second derivative in fact is less than 0 so we can safely say that the point of maxima will be 1 okay and graphically what does this mean it is simply if we have let us try to draw the graph i will not be able to show it perfectly but let's try to draw so our function would have been like this okay so we got two points okay this is our curve and we were told to find the maxima on this point okay that means the point where the curve reaches it is maximum so this point first we set uh, first derivative, derivative equal to zero so in this uh, curve we have slope equal to zero at two points at this point we have slope is equal to zero and at this point we have slope is equal to zero okay now to differentiate which of these two is maxima or minima we use uh, the second order condition if the second order uh, derivative is less than zero we have a case of maxima and here we can see that we got second order derivative less than zero okay when x was equal to one that means at this point if this is our x and this is our y so at x is equal to one our curve reaches at maxima and this point here this point is actually uh, this three okay this is our minima and this is our maxima okay simple first uh, we said first derivative equal to zero okay to get slope is equal to zero and to check whether the second derivative is to see whether we have maxima or minima we use the second derivative here we can see second derivative is greater than zero that means after reaching max minima if the slope increases then we say we have a minima similarly if we reach here the derivative the slope is equal to zero and after that if slope decreases we have a case of maxima and this condition is checked by second order derivative if the sign of second derivative is that means d square y upon d x square is here less than zero we have a case of maxima and in this case uh, d square y upon d x square is greater than zero slope is increasing so we have a case of minima so the correct option to this question should be c part okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you